In this video, I demonstrate how to use SharePoint Security Groups and InfoWise Advanced Column Permissions to change how fields are shown to different user levels in the same form. Before I start using the InfoWise Advanced Column Permissions, I need to go in and set up my two SharePoint Security Groups, Sales People and Sales Manager. So I'm going to do that by clicking on the configuration, going to Site Settings, and then Site Permissions and in here you see I have two created security groups sales managers and sales people and if I click on sales managers you'll see I have my training users in there and then in sales people I have my other set of training users so these two security groups are what we're going to use inside of InfoWise advanced column permissions in order to change the security permissions for our list and fields in that list. So before I dig into building the solution I wanted to show you what the end state is here. So I'm showing you two different screens for two different users. On the left hand side this is salesperson who has contribute access to the customers list and on the right is our sales manager who has full control to the customers list. So I'm viewing the edit form of both lists and as you can see we have different views of the same list. So in our salesperson view we only have two tabs main and activity. In our sales manager view we have four tabs contracts, sales and activity. You can also see that in our salesperson form the forecast category field is read only and over here the forecast category is editable so even in the same form I can make fields edit view and read only depending on security group and that's very powerful in you know, you can split this up by different security groups by different people's names you know, it's a very powerful way of adjusting the security on the forms based on who you are and what role you are in SharePoint. This is the new customer form. In here I'm using InfoWise Advanced Column Permissions to only show these six fields. And that's another way of controlling who sees what and what form. So at this point I'm going to go ahead and start showing you how to build this. To access InfoWise Advanced Column Permissions you go into your list which we're going to use customers, list tab, design, and then we're going to go into the configure layout and permissions and advanced column permissions. What you see here is I've already built this whole thing so if you wanted to pause and take a screenshot if you're building this at home you can go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and remove all of these and then add them back in and show you each individual piece. So the first column I'm going to work with is activity and the first setting I'm going to set up is to deny hide. So what that does is make sure that it does not show up on any of the forms. Even though I choose to do I'm going to leave the new form checked there because I use this rule right here it will not show on any of the forms even though I'm choosing new and I'll show you what that means in my next setting so I'm gonna go ahead and add that one that's gonna hide it from all of the forms and then what I do is I write I have to explicitly put a write rule in there for my edit form and I'm gonna add that in there so now activity the activity field is hidden on the new form and it's editable on the edit form and let me show you what that looks like on the actual forms here so I'm gonna click the save button we'll give that a second now come back over to my new item form and you can see if I refresh the screen here there's no activity tab and no activity field but if I come over here to this screen which is our edit screen you'll see I have the activity tab and the activity 
field and this is an InfoWise associated item field for activity so one of the other neat things about using the deny hidden uh, setting is that when you hide a field on a tab and that's the only field on that tab it actually hides the tab as well so there's no need to go in there and do extra security permissions if you hide that field then you've hidden that tab so the next field I'm going to work with is contracts and this is going to be a little bit different than we did for activity because we're going to use this the four users and groups right here so the first thing I'm going to do is the same thing I did for activity I'm going to do deny hidden on the new form so new make sure that rule is checked I'm going to add that in now we're going to explicitly make it right on the edit form but we're only going to choose let the sales managers be able to edit it and then I'm going to get add there so now if you're a sales person you're not going to be able to see that field but if you're a sales manager you're going to be able to edit that field so I'm going to show you what that looks like let me hit the save button and we're logged in as the sales manager user ID so we're gonna see the field alright so we go to sales so there's sales that are no contracts there you can see it's hidden now where it was before and over here we have contracts and that that should stay because we are sales managers now Okay, now let me show you what it looks like for the salesperson screen. Here's our salesperson screen training user 6. And on the new form, if we refresh this, you'll see that contracts is not here, it's deny hidden. And then on this form, uh, refresh the screen, you'll see we also do not see contracts at all. So because I'm training user 6 which is a salesperson we are deny hidden the contracts view or the contracts field so now we're gonna show you the forecast category and how we do read only in the right form so the first thing I'm gonna add is deny and that's gonna be on the new form I'm gonna add that in and then we're going to do right just like we did in the other screen for sales managers we'll add that in and then we're going to do uh, on the edit existing item we're going to do read for salespeople and I'm going to add that in so right here you can see for forecast category don't show it on all the forms and then explicitly show it right for sales managers and read for sales people we'll save that and show you what it looks like so when we look at the customer list as a sales manager we do not see forecast category in the new form and then if we go over to the edit form we see forecast category right here as editable as a sales manager now let's go look at it as a sales person so on the new form forecast category is deny hidden it's not shown just like in sales manager but for sales person here it's also deny hidden not shown the big difference for sales person is that forecast category is read only in the edit form and this is because we gave that explicit read-only permission in advance column permissions for salesperson. So that covers the main ways that I use InfoWise advanced column permissions to show and hide information on forms. Uh, it's very powerful uh, if you're wanting to clean your form up because you've got a lot of fields that you don't really want to show. Uh, it's also very powerful if you're wanting to hide and show fields based on user permissions. Uh, 
if you want more information on how to do advanced column permissions, go over to our InfoWise Solutions website. It's infowisesolutions.com front slash training. And in the training section, you'll see uh, another advanced column permissions right there. And in here, we go through step by step on how to do advanced column permissions. And there's a lot more information detailed in there. If you like this video, check out our InfoWise Solutions YouTube channel. We try to put out a video about every week about training topics. If you go to the videos section, you'll see a lot more information on how to do all kinds of really neat things using InfoWise and SharePoint. Thank you very much.